Hey guys, best of here at some of my vlogs and welcome to history. What if? <laughs> I'll die. Anyway, sit back, guys, start going drink, kick your feet up, and most importantly, have fun, take notes, and enjoy and ponder the thought. What if Caesar wasn't assassinated? Ponder that. Whilst you check out links down below, which are my main channel symptom plays, my website, and of course the donation link if you can, willing and able to, and of course TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and result for the faces to enjoy. Now, Caesar, arguably one of the most famous military commanders in history. And of course, he is almost, if not more famous than Alexander the Great, somehow. Personally, Alexander's better, you know. But you, saw guys saw, you guys heard a lot about him in the last video. Now this video is a bit shorter because Caesar was older and the Roman Empire was bigger. There's not a lot of and we don't really know how Rome continues on. So we know that story. So what actually changes with his not an assassination? Well, first of all, there's no civil war. Obviously, when he's assassinated, the 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 triumvirate comes together to destroy his his murderers and, and bring them to justice and defeat the rebellious nature of them who those who wanted to keep the republic over the empire now what changes remember when when he was assassinated they gave him the title of emperor outside of rome so everything beyond the city of rome beyond or beyond the area of rome i think he was emperor he was emperor not just not 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 first citizen not none of that stuff that was normally associated with the with the most powerful man in Rome. He was emperor. Now, that if if he hadn't been assassinated, that title would have rather quickly changed to being emperor of Rome. He would have become emperor of Rome. Make no doubt about it. The main thing about him not being assassinated that would have changed would it have been that his son with Cleopatra would have likely taken the throne. Now, I'm saying this not because Caesar would have necessarily chosen that option, but because Cleopatra would have. And her influence over Caesar at the time is, is what changed... She, she, this woman changed history. N let's not make no doubts about it. Without her... Rome doesn't become the empire it becomes. It stays a republic. Because the idea of emperor comes from her connection to Alexander the Great. You know, she's related to Ptolemy, one of the generals of Alexander the Great. And he's the one who stole Alexander's body, brought it to Alexandria. Okay? And, you know, if you've seen the film and all that, and you've read the stories, and... She's the one who fills Caesar's head with the idea of emperorhood, of godhood, of becoming that conqueror, that invincible man. Becoming and, and continuing the legacy of Alexander the Great. So, let's go along the line of that's what he does. You know, but she would be working in the background to remove, or fill his head at least, to remove enemies. Enemies, not just, not necessarily to him, but to, to, to them, is what she would face it like. But really it's to her and her child, Caesarea. Make no two ways about it. I am convinced that if he was not assassinated, Caesarean becomes the next emperor of Rome. Brutus would have been murdered just to remove any ideas that he was um, Caesar's bastard son. And anyone else, any other political rival, any other um, bastard children, or sorry, um, you know, children that are not known or meant to be his children, children, any children he might have had, they would all be removed so that her child sits on the throne of Rome, the most powerful seat in the world at the time. You know, because that's what she was. That's what her entire family was. You look at her family, it's a bloody murder bath of people killing each other for power. 
That's what she would have done. And that's what she would have got Caesar to do. You know, and she would have also got him to conquer any enemies of, of hers or Rome. You know? So, Rome's expansions would have been the same. But instead of this broken line of, of murderers that you know become the emperors of Rome, you'd get this you'd probably get this strong line of, of, of children that would follow after Caesarian being related to Caesar. That's what you would get. You'd get strong leaders of Rome, military men. Not necessarily the administrators or the flamboyantness that we got following his death. You know, with Caligula and stuff like that. You may, they may have still been mad, who was to say, but I am of a belief that you probably would have had a strong dynasty follow. And because that's that's what she was. She was part she wasn't what she was the last of a dynasty. And she would make sure that dynasty lived on through her child. And if he sat on Rome it probably would have. So in this history what if is it's not about whether the Roman Empire would change. It would probably largely stay the same. Maybe not forked out so much money. Perhaps the aqueducts wouldn't have been invented. But more than likely they probably would have, you know, because that stuff was necessary for Rome. They needed water. Maybe the expenditures wouldn't have been so high and more expenditure on militariness, you know, on the military stuff, considering the legacy of Alexander the Great. Maybe they would have conquered more of Germany, gone further into Germany, conquered England earlier, conquered Scotland rather than building the wall. Just because of the type of men they would become following that dynasty. That legacy bird being a burden on them, because that's what that leg Alexander's legacy is be is a burden to anyone and everyone that it touches. It's it was a burden to Caesar. It was a burden to Ptolemy. Burden to the kings of Macedonia who followed. It was a burden to any of his generals at the time for, in the civil wars. That's why the civil wars was there were civil wars, rather than the splintering and being rivals. They actually went to war to try and you know usurp Alexander's legacy. And it's just a burden. It's almost like a plague. Plaguing the mind, playing in the back of your head. Imagine, because that's what people would say. If you, if I was related to Alexander the Great, and I was a king of somewhere, there would be people around me saying, Conquer, let's go fight these guys. And I'd be like, well, maybe not. Oh, you, right? And then there would, there would be a snide comment such as, right, a lot of Alexander and you there is, and that's playing in the back of your mind. You know, wanting to be Alexander, wanting to live up to this legacy that you don't really need to live up to. You need to live up to yourself and what's best for you and whatever you're controlling at the time. But people would use that against you for their own will, or it would be you. You would use it against yourself because it would be the back of your own head, and that would lead you down this this potentially self-destructive path. I'm not saying it would have destroyed Rome, but perhaps the Roman Empire wouldn't have lasted so long. It would have, it would have. I'm, I'm certain. It certainly would have still expanded, but it wouldn't have lasted so long. Had the should the burden of Alexander the Great be on them, because that burden was a curse. If you want to look at it philosophically, if you want to look at it spiritually and philo, you know what I mean, like that that way. That curse of Alexander's legacy would have plagued the rulers of that dynasty, and probably led it to ruin. If I'm honest, <laughs> so. From that sort of view, you have that. You also have to look at the ad administration change. Like I said, there would be a lot of military mindedness if if you follow the dynasty of Alexander, right? Um, because again, it's not just now that a lot of people forget about his administrative ability. It's then too, everyone focuses on him being a military man and forget the admin, forget the the. Ad because being an emperor is not just about wielding the sword. It's about wielding the pen. That's how you be keep. That's how you stay an emperor. <laughs> okay. Yes, you can conquer places, but can you hold them? And to hold them, you have to administer them right, or hire, or you know, set people to administer them right. And the only way you can do that is being smart, not just at killing people, but at controlling them too. And people forget that about Alexander. And his legacy is always military stuff. And that legacy would have overshadowed 
that Roman Caesar's dynasty probably and they all would have probably failed in that respect so you can look at it as he would have lived to become Emperor Caesar his children would have become emperors but how many of them would have how long before the burden of Alexander's legacy brings down would have brought down Rome perhaps his assassination was for the best of that empire at the time for it to last longer it falls apart because of madmen and, and stupidness but nothing lasts forever well that's the end of this video anyway like always subscribe down below comment your thoughts on whether you believe in the burden of alexander's legacy or if you believe it rome would have done much better had caesar not been assassinated also check out the links down below we've got simpson players my main gaming channel of course and of course we've got my website the list link if you can really able to and tiktok instagram for you and twitter for your lovely faces to enjoy that's it from me but stay tuned for more history what ifs peace Thank you.